What's up guys, I'm back after a short break and a lot has happened. Before we discuss the awesome Galaxy S20 leaks, Samsung has changed their mobile chief. Yes, the legend DJ Ko has stepped down and the new guy named Rote Moon, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, is the new mobile chief. Ro is the youngest president at Samsung and no, he's not in his 30s or 40s, he's actually 51, yes. That's the youngest you can be to become the president at Samsung. Now, the former mobile chief DJ Ko will continue to handle IT and mobile communication, so he's not gonna leave the company, he's still around. But he has stepped down from the mobile chiefs. The main man is this guy. It will be very interesting to see what kind of new decisions this guy will take at Samsung. Anyways, let's talk about the Galaxy S20 leaks. We have the full specification for all the Galaxy S20 models in one shot. First up, I wanna say, look how impressive the specs are for the Galaxy S20. In comparison to the S10e, this is a massive, massive upgrade indeed. The display is Quad HD 120Hz across all the models, so no 1080p or 720p mediocre stuff this time around. Samsung's going hard on the display. The S20 Ultra is perhaps the heaviest Samsung flagship smartphone coming at 221 grams, which is still slightly less heavier than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All the models sport micro SD cards so you can comfortably record those 8K 30fps video with no problem at all. The camera specs that we already know are now further confirmed. They are looking absolutely insane. The Ultra model gets the exclusive custom 108 megapixel Samsung sensor. The S20 Plus and S20 on the other hand will get 12 megapixel sensor. It is an improved one. It will have massive improvement in terms of low light capabilities. What I really like here is the use of high resolution telephoto lens. So Samsung is using 64 megapixel for the S20 and S20 Plus and 48 for the Ultra model. This will definitely bring sharper portrait images compared to the softish look of the previous models. And perhaps the biggest wow factor in all of this is the new wide 40 megapixel front camera. Notice that it says wide, which means that it's gonna be wider than the front camera on the S20 and the S20 Plus, which are coming at 10 megapixel, which is gonna be similar to the last year's model, but will have the 4K 60 FPS front camera video capability. Honestly, I did not see this one coming. A 40 megapixel front camera, it's gonna be one of the biggest front camera resolutions on a smartphone in 2020. 4K 60 FPS from front camera across all the models and up to 8K 30 FPS from the back camera. The battery sizes are further confirmed. They all look pretty good for their display sizes. I think they should be able to handle the 120Hz display without having too much pressure on the battery life. Now, my money is on the Ultra model. It's looking incredible and it looks incredible as well. What you're looking right now is perhaps the most accurate render based on the most latest leak for its camera. This is how the camera setup will look on the S20 Ultra model. Samsung will apparently be mentioning 100x zoom on the main camera lens along with the tagline, which will most likely be called as Space Zoom. Now, this is again not the official press render or anything like that. It is based on leaks but it is the most accurate S20 Ultra look you can find on the internet right now. So the S20 Ultra can perform 10x optical zoom with up to 100x digital zoom whereas the other two models can only do up to 30x digital and 3x optical zoom. Most of the stuff that we talked about in the leaks came out to be true but one thing that didn't was the new fingerprint scanner that Qualcomm announced last month which allowed you to have more than one finger register and have a bigger screen area registration so the fingerprint sensor area will be similar to the S10 family maybe something bigger will be planned for the Note 20 model later down the year now in case you don't know Galaxy Z will be coming officially right alongside the S20 family on February 11th we actually have a leaked promo image coming from an unknown source we're not sure how legit this is but yeah this is out there it's a bit different from what we have seen it's showing a device with a trifold look it could be two Galaxy Galaxy Z flip phones put together to make a shape like the Z letter. Again, we don't have any solid information on that, but we do have solid info on the specs of the Galaxy Z Flip. According to Ishan on Twitter, Galaxy Z Flip will have a 12 megapixel main camera, which could be similar to the S20 or S20 Plus, or it might just be same as the S10's main camera. It's also using 10 megapixel front camera, a 3300 or 3500 millipart battery with black and purple colors. The rest of the stuff like the display size and resolution, we 
already talked about it before. So yeah, the S20 family with the complete specs do reveal some exciting information such as the 40 megapixel wide front camera. Honestly, I'm really impressed by the specs of the Galaxy S20 model. This time around, Samsung is not leaving anything behind. It's only missing the TUF lens on the back compared to the S20 Plus. The rest of the stuff is looking really, really awesome. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about the S20 Ultra. Considering the Ultra specs it's packing, such as the 100x zoom and the new front camera, would you be spending all your money on that? Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.